Hey everybody, welcome to TIW Podcast. I'm Eric, and today I watched WWE SmackDown episode 1111, quadruple ones, uh, broadcast on December 4th, 2020. Um, so uh, this episode, as well as this week's NXT, had a beautiful tribute video to Pat Patterson, uh, rest in peace. Um, and so that was a, a real highlight of of this show um it's it's very clear that he will be missed by like basically everybody in wrestling um so uh yeah he's he's mentioned uh, many times throughout the night there's even an intercontinental championship tribute match a three-on-three tag team match which was uh the second match of the night um because we opened up with roman reigns and kevin owens doing stuff and set up a tlc match um something what did i write their baby and grown up somebody's a baby somebody's i don't even remember what that was but i have very minimal notes because there were a few things that happened but they uh happened over lots of time if that makes sense i guess <laughs> but uh we had uh, Bailey versus Natalia happened before that. Um, and from what I understand, um, the three matches for Tribute to the Troops, which I have not watched, were filmed before the SmackDown broadcast. Um, so that may be a reason why a lot of people who uh, would normally expect to have a match on this episode um, had a ma- uh, did not have one because uh, they had a match for uh, Tribute to the Troops instead. But anyway, uh, Natalia won via sharpshooter. Then we had the Intercontinental Championship tribute match, uh, which featured the original Intercontinental Championship belts, which is really cool to see on screen there. Um, but we had the teams of Dol- all intercon- former and current Intercontinental Champions, Dolph Ziggler, Shinsuke Nakamura, and Sami Zayn teamed up to fight Biggie, uh, Rey Mysterio, and Daniel Bryan. Um, Daniel Bryan pinned Sami Zayn to get the win there, which I think may just end up with a Daniel Bryan versus Sami Zayn Intercontinental Championship match. That'd be great. Somebody on Reddit, I'm sure a lot of people on Reddit had thought, oh, wouldn't it have been, it would have been so great if they had an Intercontinental Championship tournament. But, um, I mean, as far as a, a kind of last minute thing, uh, I thought this worked pretty well. But they, they could have done that for the um have it lead up to tlc and have the finals be in the tlc the 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 winner of this the the tournament could uh challenge Sami Zayn at tlc that would be pretty great but this was good this is good too there's like everybody in that match is just so great also biggie has new music has a has the chalk to chalk up his hands before it gets in the goes to the ring all that so cool i mean it's it's sad not to hear him come out to the new day theme but he's still got the new day gear he's still representing the new day i think i think that's it's working out all right then we had a great sasha banks and carmella interview uh i forget any it, it i said I, why did i say great i don't remember if it was great i uh sasha part of it was probably great i don't remember um okay so here's uh, skipping forward to Talking Smack a little bit. Talking Smack, had, like when it started, uh, this new run of it was like pretty much fun. But now with Paul Heyman as the co-host, he is he is mean. Um, Roman Reigns is not on a Talking Smack, but he on on the main show he is very mean. And then Carmella was one of the guests, and she was very mean. Um, I just did not. I didn't really enjoy watching most of Talking Smack, except for the part that I did enjoy a lot was um, when uh, Riot Squad were on there, and then Billy Kay came in. Like all that section of it was great. Uh, the rest of it, it was not. It was not fun. It didn't seem like anybody was having fun. Everybody was just being mean to each other, and I didn't really enjoy that aspect of Talking Smack. Uh, also, Roman Reigns is very mean. Um, we had Murphy versus Baron Corbin. Corbin was prepared this time. He has new lackeys in Jay Color and Wesley Blake. Um, I, I'm 
pretty excited for those two guys. I think that's, that's great that they're back on screen. Um, and we had uh, uh, Corbin won via end of days, but I, I'm pretty sure Cutler and Blake were involved with that. I didn't write down exactly what happened. I don't remember the details. But anyway, then we had the main event, um, which the entrances started with a half hour left in the show. So uh, that's why my notes are so short, because each a, a lot of these segments were huge, huge chunks of the show. But anyway, we had Otis and Kevin Owens team up against Roman Reigns and Jey Uso. Roman did not come out at the beginning of the match. Uh, he operates on Roman Reigns' time. And uh, so Jey was on his own for, for quite a bit. Uh, and eventually, uh, Roman Reigns got disqualified for putting the guillotine on Kevin Owens, who is the legal competitor. Roman Reigns was not tagged in. Um, and they destroyed everybody. He, he already destroyed Otis when he first appeared because he and Otis were the illegal tag team partners so they could do whatever. And Roman decided to do whatever and destroyed Otis. And then, uh, yeah, he goes in there, uh, destroys Kevin Owens, gets disqualified, and then he attacks Jay with a chair and just destroys him. He's so mean. Why has he got to be so mean? Especially to Jay. Come on. What a jerk. But anyway, um, uh, yeah, that was that. that's everything that happens on SmackDown. I was in for, uh, I had registered for Thunderdome, but uh, as it turns out, if I had tuned in, I would have been able to watch Tribute to the Troops as it was as, as filmed, I think. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. But uh, that's, oh, oh well. I didn't, I didn't realize I missed that, but, um, yeah, yeah. So the, the wrestling is great in this episode and, uh, the Pat Patterson tri tribute is great. So, uh, that's it. Let me know what you thought about this episode between me at TIW podcast. Go to TIWpodcast.com for more reviews. If you enjoyed this episode or anything else on the site, please share some links with friends. Subscribe on iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, YouTube, wherever you like to listen. Stay safe, healthy, and happy out there in all of the infinite multiverses. And I'll be back real soon with uh, my thoughts on War Games happens tonight. Um, I'm recording this just moments before the, uh, the, the kickoff show starts. So that's why this episode is so so short plus this that not a whole lot uh, of different things happen in this episode anyway but that's it see you next time here on tiw podcast bye